Glossostigma aladenoids cultivation is rather challenging. It requires high illumination level, quite soft to 8 degrees DGH, and slightly acidic pH 5 to 7, water with temperature from 22 degrees as well as occasional fertilization. Tank bottom substrate is the second important thing after the illumination level. It should have smooth edged grains about 2 to 3 m large. The plant has very long and thin roots and soft substrate promotes deep penetration of the latter and it. If there are some areas with large grain substrate in the tank, the plant can't form a good looking carpet there, it either grows deep into the substrate, or forms its shoots high above it. By using such a substrate you can limit propagation of the plant, where you don't need it. You can use Glosso as aquascapping only at the condition of high illumination level in the tank. At that obtaining of the thick carpet is possible only when illumination value is more than 1 with L as well as daylight duration isn't less than 10 hours. The plant won't die at low level of lighting or without additional fertilization, but at such conditions it won't behave as a ground covering plant and it starts to grow upwards to reach the light, it becomes more than 10 cm long. High illumination level requires additional CO2 supply, 20 to 30 mg, L, and periodical fertilization, which is a must. Due to high growth rate of the plant, introduction of ferrum containing fertilizers is necessary to ensure saturated green coloring of the latter. Glossostigma aladenoids propagates due to its trailing stem, its new small roots grow from it. When planting Glossostigma aladenoids you should divide it into separate verticils with two leaves each and plant them 1 to 2 cm far from each other.